putting pressure on your leader. Lap cars right in front of your leaders here off of turn number four. 17 into the book. 18 now complete. What did we learn? There's two groups. Two groups. They locking in top five out qualifying and two people making second six. Are you all in the same group? Hey, did you get Good any sleep question. last night? Yeah, I just went tired, man. Oh. Well, hey, we need you ready for qualifying. Oh, I'm ready. Are we in the same group or do we know? Right, we have to look. Let's I don't see know. about MRP real quick. All right, we are running for $5,000 with first thing out for hot laps. Great racing USA late model series okay. tonight. Yes. Why not? Motor first part. group. We're not in the same group. So we, you both need to be just qualifying the top five of your group. Group yep. one, group two, and I'll log us into the main event. How many cars? There's 18 in my group. 18, so. That's 36. Yeah. 36 cars, 5,000 to win. Well, hot lap, qualify. Hopefully that'll be it. Hopefully both of them be in the top five of their group. That'll lock us in. 50 lap main event at the end of the night, 5,000 to win. Crate Racing USA, late model series. There is Why Not Motorsports Park in Why Not Mississippi. It's our second time here this year. Last time we were here, Joseph won in the super late models and Foghorn with our Dell Yes, he was here also that night. I think he ran fourth in a weekly crate late model show. That's about a month ago, a month or so ago that we were up here. Like they were saying a while ago, we got 36 Crate Racing USA late model cars here. Gonna be a stout field. Y'all remember last time we ran with the crate cars, the Crate Racing USA cars, neither Joseph or Jesse made the show back at Rowan. So looking to improve and do a lot better in the crate cars tonight. Next week, we'll be right up the road in Columbus, Mississippi at Magnolia Motor Speedway for rounds two and three of the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series. That's Friday and Saturday, May 12th and 13th. 5,000 to win super late models on Friday, 10,000 to win on Saturday. And then the following week, we go to Georgia for a doubleheader, 10,000 to win at Swainsboro Raceway, May 12th, and 10,000 to win at Sonoya Raceway on May 13th. If you can't make it to the track for those races, you can watch all of them on huntthefront.tv. Hey, check it out. We got some shirts from our neighbors over there. They, they watch the videos. Heck yeah. I like blue too. I don't have enough blue shirts. Hopefully that's my size. Oh yeah, we'll make that work. Make the show, win the race. Step one, get in the show. Step two, win the show. Be the show. Be the show. One of you win the show, the other one be the show. How's that sound? There you go. All right, ready, break. each group will lock into the main event. We've got two groups for qualifying. There will be two B mains tonight. Top six cars will advance out of the B mains and then the provisional. Here comes the one car. He's coming out onto the speedway now. Jesse Intergan in the one car. Melton, Florida driver. There's the owner of the house of Hook, Rodney Wing, in the number 10 car. Joseph Joyner in the 10 car, also out of Melton, Florida. Jimmy Thomas arrived in the 22 car. Green flag, and it's in the air. We're ready to roll one more time. Mario Gresham, 21 car. Brent Lloyd on the backside in the number red number two car. Jacksonville, Florida driver there. Joyner. Jagger flag in the air for this group of hot laps.
by three tenths. I feel really good. By him, I mean, Joe. He's got Jesse's got you by three tenths. <laughs> you look really tight. I felt like really good. I didn't even know you were out there. Y'all out there at the same time. I was watching Joseph. I, I assumed you had already gone. You were ninth with a 14.373. Joseph was 16th with a 14.68. Ninth overall? Yep, uh, 34 the hot lap. All right, qualifying will be up next. Yeah, Joseph yeah, and Jesse will be in separate groups. Top right, five in each group lock in to the main event. By the way, we forgot the lift, the box to Jesse's lift at the house, so. We're roughing it around here. Well, we're, you know, it makes school. us really appreciate it, dirtcarlift.com. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're learning, we're doing it the old way, and it ain't no fun. It's hard to want to change something. I felt really good. I don't think the racetrack's gonna really slow down any. If anything, it's just gonna get more technical. Still struggling with a decision. Change Here's the thing. I just can't go out there and say it's going to turn them all on the floor. That's what I messed up with last time. I think if I went down there and hit the brake a little bit last time, I've been faster. I'm the first group anyway. It don't matter. Yeah, there's the horn. All right, so no changes for Jesse, just some fresh rubber. He was uh, debating whether or not to make a change over on the right rear. Pretty significant changes over here to Joseph. About to qualify, Jesse will be out in the first group. Joseph in group two, top five out of the 18 in each group, directly transferred to the main event. Look out. Hey, that's why you gotta have a dirt car lift from dirtcarlift.com. You had enough of that yet? Yeah. <laughs> Qualifying top five in each group lock in. Jesse out first, then Joe. on the speedway for their qualifying laps. Green flag up for Jason Henry. Here comes Jesse Intergun. Henry, look at the white flag this time by. Third quick for Henry. Intergon, he'll be 12th quick on that lap. Here comes Henry for his final lap. Top of the board for the 10 car, Jason Henry. 13,385, 12th quick for Jesse Intergon. Joseph Joyner under the green. Let's see if he can get in the top five in that NJ along with Dowdy in the 88D car. Joyner off of four. Looking at White this time by. 
13 9 30. Did not get in the top five. 15 128 for Dowdy. Let's say Joyner's got another shot to the checkered. Here he comes. Did not change. Third quick. 13 6 1 4. Joyner in the top five with one more qualifier to go. All right. Joey's in the show. He'll start six in the 50 lap 5,000 win main event. Jesse's got some work to do. Jesse was too free. Joseph was too tight. I think being a little tight was better than being free in that situation. Sit, uh, you'll start six. Tight. Yeah, tight. I feel like I was free through this. Slide. A little slide. Yeah. Yeah. I push all the way around. Got let off the turn. Well, I heard you let off. I just watched from here. And you had to move up. You were higher than anybody else that's anywhere close. You're a whole groove higher. So hey, but yeah. I can to just keep all the speed in it. You yeah, know what I mean? right, and not push. Yeah. Got to go to work, I think is what he was saying. The front shock, will it help me get around, rotate around the bottom? Good. All right, let's do that. Okay. All right, let's, let's do that. Let's make that adjustment. All right. All right. Back, right. back to normal. Back on. Right side tire and back on. Got to go. Oh. That was quick. Top six transfer, you're starting seven. Whitener right there is going to go forward. Follow him. Follow him. He'll make a hole. You got to pass a couple of these guys. Beck was it behind. Listen, just go, you, I mean, just you got to go race. You got you to go get your head down and go race right here. I mean, this, this is it. Looking at turn number four, Flagman looking them over, greens up, and we are underway. B main number one is going to be Jason Welshin taking them into turn number one. Off of turn number two, Welshin will lead it down the backside. He's got Trent Lloyd right behind him, three wide for the number one spot here as they come to flag stand. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Trent Lloyd. back straightaway over Oakley Johns in the C6 car. Battle goes on for that third spot. Here comes the five car. Mark Whitener looks like trying to move around the top of the racetrack. Go try to catch up with Trent Lloyd. Lloyd looking to the inside of Oakley Johns off of two. Cannot make it stick. It's your leader. Enters into turn number four. Caution on the speedway up here in turn number one. Here they come. They're on the gas and we're back underway. Welshin, Johns, Lloyd. Mark Whitener sticking that nose up there wanting that third spot to see if he can get it. we got some contact down the backside, but here comes your lead pack of cars. Bill Jason Welshin, Maryville, Tennessee driver out front. Whitener in fourth. Still, Blake Kraft, the Livonia, Georgia driver, holding down that top five spot. White flag this time by for your leader. Jason Welson, Trent Lord, Oakley Johns, your top three cars as they run down the backside. Looking at checker this time by Jason Welson. He'll win it. Lord will transfer. All right, Jesse didn't make it. Battling hard, trying to get in. It's fun out there, and I think we finished ninth or tenth in the beat. Anyway, locked in cars, get a hot lap real quick. Joseph ran back there, changed a couple things. Try it and see what it does.
fastest. No, that was the fastest lap I've seen on Fastest night. lap all night, 13 1. First fastest I've seen. Got back up for the feature. You almost went high. Yeah. Especially getting in the three. What'd you do down there that you messed up? I hit, the, I hit the slick and it like just spun out. Dark guy. Pick that one. All right, here we go. Main event time 50 laps, 5,000 to win. Joseph is starting six. Caution is out. The green is in the air, and we're underway for 50. Here they come. Jake Knowles taking them into turn number one. Three wide as they go in through one and two off of two. It's going to be Knowles by a car length over Jason Henry. And you got David Williamson looking at the inside of Knowles for the lead off of turn number four. Here they come. It's going to be Jake Knowles. David Williamson, Jason Henry, your top three. Backside around the top of the racetrack. David Williamson working around the hub. Knowles with faster momentum. He's still got the lead with five complete, 45 to go. Hunter Lewis right beside him. Row number three, Joseph Joyner, Chris McElhaney, Casey Haney. Going to be your top seven. Knowles on the gas, and we're back underway. Jason Henry looking at the inside of Knowles now down the back straightaway. Three wide for third. Here they come. It's David Williamson, Joseph Joyner, Hunter Lewis. Three wide for the number one spot, but Knowles has got it. Henry and Williamson. That's how they stack up right now. Oh, Nelly down the back side. Who's going to have it? Looks like Joseph Joyner now has got the third spot. And here comes your leader, Jake Knowles, Jason Henry, Joseph Joyner now up to third. Three wide for fourth. It's Pete Hunter Lewis in the seven car. Williamson back to the field spot now in the 28 car. That's your top five as they run. And here they come down the front straightaway again. Noel still hanging the top of that racetrack. Joseph Joyner now got his sight set on that second spot. Here he comes, and he's going to have it at the strike. Joyner putting pressure on your leader. Lap cars right in front of your leaders here off of turn number four. 17 in the book. 18 now complete. As your leaders go down the back straightaway once again. Here they come. Nail, Noel's banging the concrete. Joyner will be your new leader on lap 19. Move over flag being shown to your lap cars. Your leader's now catching lap traffic. Vandenbrink may be your first car to go a lap down in the 19M car. Here comes Joyner. He'll move to the top of the racetrack. He's got Knowles right behind him. Vandenbrink goes a lap down to your leader, Joseph Joyner. Three cars right in front of your leader. Lap traffic being a factor now for Joyner and Knowles. Corner working lap traffic as he gets around the 44. Tim Dees. He's not giving it up. He's right in the middle of lap traffic down the back straightaway. Corner in the bottom now. Noel still hammering the top of the racetrack. Still one and two. Hunter Lewis in third. AC Haney now up to the fourth spot in the 14 car.
Here he comes. He's on the gas, and we're back underway. Green. Hunter Lewis. Jason Welsh, and looks like the man on the move in the 29 car. He'll go side by side with Jake Knowles. He'll have the third spot off of turn number four. Now up to the second spot. Looks like the Maryville, Tennessee driver. Jason Welsh and on the move. Watch that 29 car. Here he comes. He's got his sights set on the leader. Joseph Joyner. A Flor- wine Floridian, as they call him. See if Maryville, Tennessee's Jason Welsh and can do anything with him. Noel's up back to the third spot. Hunter Lewis. In fourth. Here they come, Welshing around the bottom, Joiner around the top. Who's it going to be at the stripe? Still Joiner. Joseph Joiner still had it. But the heat is on down the backside, side by side for that number one spot. Here they come again, Welshing and Joiner. Welshing's got it on lap 34. Jason Welsh and under the strike, four laps remain. He's got distance now, about a straightaway now between first and second between Jason Welsh and Joseph Joyner. And the lap car is right in front of him. They're on the front straightaway. He's working lap traffic down the front side through one and two down the back side. Still lap cars in front of your leader. He's having to slow up. Joyner still can't close the gap. Two lap cars right in front of your leader. It's David Williamson around the bottom in the 28. White flag. There's your leader, Jason Welsh, and right there taking the white. Checker flag of fall. Next time by for the 29 car down the back straightaway. And here he comes, race fans, double checkers, goes to Jason Welsh, and he'll win it here tonight at Why Not Motorsports Park. 50 laps complete. Joseph Joyner will come in second, followed by Jake Knowles, your top three car. Second. Look good. Look real good. And then, I don't know. I think he's going to tell us wrong tire. Huh? They look good for a little while. Congrats to Jason Welsh in there. I don't know when. He was fast. He's fast. I'm just glad it wasn't any more than 50 laps. Yeah, we were about to see. <laughs> we were sitting duck. Hell, I, I'm surprised we got sick yet. I was too. What's wrong? It's laying over on this right front here. Look at it. Oh, uh, yeah. I couldn't turn. Couldn't no. turn. Oh, your brakes. I thought you had oh, it. Oh, dang. Turn that light. Turn that light. That's, that's what got us. That's what sprung steel, that's that's what that's sprung right. steel stuff broke. Dang it. Yo. All right, you got to go to the front straight away. Hey, you're running over your stuff. <laughs> you got to roll it back. I think this costed us right there. Yep. Heck, dumb it. When do you think that happened? As soon as we took back off. They just... I don't know. I have no idea. No, I ain't hit nothing. I don't have no idea. Was it hard drive after yeah, that? Yeah, I couldn't drive it. I can't steer it. I just want to point out that was sprung steel. Uh, that's not the MD3 stuff. That's the old sprung steel. That might have been a problem. Broke bracing was in the tire. He couldn't turn it. It's, it's hung up right yeah, here. He's trying to pull it out. <laughs> you led most of that race tonight. Did the car just go away or was it just the other cars just got a little bit better? Yeah, I think Jason was really good. I wish we could have, you know, got there and run with him. I don't really know why it happened or I guess just the way it is, but uh, we took back off on the restart over there and uh, our right front uh, flopper uh, angle, uh, sprung steel on the flop, flopper come unbolted and we was running over it with the right front tire and uh, I couldn't steer it. You know, congratulations to Jason Jason there. I think he was going to be uh, really hard to beat regardless. The track was really good. You could move all over it. And, uh, you know, we really love coming over here to Why Not. It's always a good time. I just want to say this. We're looking forward to seeing y'all next week at Magnolia Motor Speedway. Yeah, we'll be at Magnolia next week. Uh, practice on Thursday, racing Friday and Saturday. So uh, y'all come see us if you're in the area and you can you can make it. Uh, come over there. It'll be a really good show. But uh got to thank everybody that helps us out on this thing. Uh, Langenfelder Mechanical Contractors, Base Racing Fuel, uh, Trading Paints, 
Uh, everybody, uh, all, all the good product sponsors we got, uh, all, you know, everybody that helps us uh, turn wrenches, uh, Jesse and uh, Jordy and uh, Jordan and Dusty and uh, my brothers, Jonathan, Joshua, my dad, Eddie, uh, Daniel came with us tonight. Uh, you know, glad to have everybody here and, uh, you know, big, big shout out to my wife at home with the kids doing, uh, keeping them and keeping everything at the home, at the house going so uh, I can come out and do this and, uh, you know, praise the Lord for it. Hey, good run, Jason. Did you go with the 50? I went on a 21, yeah. I did too. Yeah, yeah. It was, I don't think, there wasn't no way to put no 55 on. You know, I, I feel like we knew it was going to race I pretty. I followed we was you race, the whole you know? way down there. Mm -hmm. And until I got behind you, that's when your car, it had to come loose. Soon as, soon as we, yeah, as soon as, soon as we took back off on the restart. Your tire, I could, or your yeah. car was different. Yeah, as like, soon as we took back off, it said, man, it was yeah. close, wasn't it? <laughs> I was like, go, go, go. <laughs> I, had, I was stopping down there, yeah, man. that was fun. Yeah, it was. Who are we looking at? Over here? All righty. Hey, super late model racing, hunt the front super dirt Woo, series. We ready go. for that? Uh, I mean, I think so. We'll find out. Yeah. yeah. Next week, hunt the front super dirt series, Magnolia Motor Speedway, around two and three. It's gonna be fun. Tune in live on huntthefront.tv. Hey, listen. What? Hey, check the budget Monday morning. I'm calling five star. Yeah. I'm getting. Everything bracing. new. That wasn't a five-star MG3 bracing. That was prone steel. No, that was a. Like a Jesse's car's five got the five-star stuff on it. Oh, yeah. there was a problem. At least you kind of. Well, I want to say shook your bad luck, but shook your smile. Either way, we'll take a second at why not. We will settle for second and be happy with Don't it. Don't forget two double headers coming up the next two weekends with the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series, Magnolia Motor Speedway next week, and then a double header in Georgia, Swainsboro Raceway, Sonoya Raceway the very next week. One month subscription to HuntTheFront.tv gets you all four races. Thank y'all for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see y'all later.